Well, today I'm going to show you how I make uh, hash browns around the house here. And not much to it, just want to show you how I use my, my uh, Copper Chef pan and making my own hash browns here. It's a whole lot easier just to buy them at the store, but it's a whole lot better if you go ahead and make them yourself. So, I'm not going to kill a lot of time showing you how to peel a potato. I'm sure most of you know how to peel a potato. But, just cut some of the bad spots out here. Then take my potato peeler. Peel away. Make sure you wash everything good before you start, you know. It's not very important to you while you're real young. <laughs> but once you get a little age on you and you start getting sick because you're too lazy to wash your hands or something, after a while you catch on. All you gotta do is wash your hands, wear gloves every now and then, and Act like you got a little sense and you don't get near as sick. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good here. Now we'll lay it aside and we'll wash this potato off again. I'm going to start making my hash browns. I got this old cheap grater here. I looked at one of Costco's the other day, it was $10 or $15. I thought, well, my old dollar one here works pretty good, so I'll just keep it. So you just start going up and down like this. Now you can see you get your little grated potato down there in the, the bottom of your plate. That means you have a word of caution. You have to be real careful about when you get up there close to the end, because this thing will eat your finger the same way as eating that potato up. It'll do the same thing to it, except it's more painful. So really use caution when you're doing this. As you can see there, what a nice little pile of uh, hash browns we're getting. And you can grade them as thick or as small as you want to, as fine or as coarse as you want to. See, I mean, all four sides, or well, three of them, I wouldn't try to use that side for it, but... All the rest of them, you can use it if I hold on to this potato, and that just makes it too mushy. So let's go over here to this one. We'll try to finish up with this one. Now they'll give us a couple of different sizes in there. Well, now I've got to stop and wash my potato again. Okay, now I'm starting to get pretty close on this, so I'm going to take a fork. I'll stick the fork in just like this. Try not to stick it in your hand. And you go back and you can do it like this now, you're pretty safe. As long as you don't just stick your finger on the other side of the fork. And you can tell when the metal gets up to it. And just ease off on it. And you get all the way down there pretty good this way. That fork right there is a finger saver. You see, you can just go all the way around that fork and do it the way you want to. Puts it right on in there.
Okay, now we'll go over here and get my pan ready. And my other items and ingredients. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I've got my copper shelf pan here ready to go. This is my copper shelf square pan. I really like that square pan. Well, it does such a good job for me. And here I've got my uh, potatoes sitting over there. And if you could just barely see them, I've got back here, I've got uh, some, some uh, onions and, and red and yellow peppers cut up there. And so I'm going to put uh, a little bit of olive oil. Just going to put a little bit of olive oil in this pan. Now you really wouldn't have to have any oil in this pan to fry these in this uh, copper shelf square pan. But I like to just have a little taste to it. So you put, I'll put that in there. Go ahead and turn my pan on here. About medium, just a little low medium. Just shake that pan around a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just mix my, well I'm going to go ahead and dump it in here. You do it either way you want. Dump your potatoes in. Dump your crusty veggies in. four or five or six twists of pepper on there. I like to take it a little easy with salt. Okay. Put a little spatula out here. Now this is one of those things, if you don't like the little sweet peppers, you don't have to put those in there. If you don't like the onions, you don't have to put those in there. You just do the potatoes if that's what you want. Turn it up a little bit here and get it going. Okay, as you can see, we got these going pretty good here now. Just a few more minutes, I'll be ready to eat some more. Spread them out a little thin here so they get brown all over. Maybe. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, they're about there now. Ah, this looks like it's about ready to come up. 
looks pretty good. Stuff it right here in this plate. Now you see that's just a small portion, but I just want a small portion of meat so you can cook accordingly. Put that in there, try just a taste of it. Mmm, good. I need to explain one more thing. Is every time I do one of these videos like this, I have to go and get on the torture machine over here and stay on it for about 30 or 45 minutes so I can get back to normal again. So there you go. 30 or 45 minutes to an hour, you know, that's two or three miles. And I've had that machine for a little over a year. And actually I've lost about 25 pounds. That's a whole different story. But that's why we do these hash browns around the house here. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you come back and watch more of my videos. Hope to have another video for you real soon. I hope you can give me a thumbs up. So y'all have a good day and we'll see you as soon as we can. Goodbye.